We are back. Thank you all for your patience during our midstream intermission. I generally take one longer break per stream and that is it. Additional breaks are closer to 90 seconds. So thank you all for obliging me. But now we are back to the Brogue run. This is a fun run so far. I have never played this build and I am enjoying the heck out of this. Um, so we just found a mango that makes us a little more comfortable. We still want to speed up a little bit. I think the build's going to play faster now that the Warhammer works. Um, I'm really curious to see what this stel this chainmail looks like. We got to try and ID these two wands if we can. Leather armor is borderline ditchable here. I have some benevolent scrolls here. Probably worth use IDing them. If we get ID, what do we want? I think we're fine with protecting the chainmail, honestly. We actually don't have a good ID target unless we just ID the chainmail. At least one of those wands are a permanent addition with an ally? I don't think so. Well, maybe if we found like a... CE does have some like crazy ally spawns. We, we could still find like a... a crazy ally, in which case Plenty and Empowerment are both pretty decent. Although Plenty's kind of not great in CE because it has the hit points of them. Which I think makes most enemies fragile for the death you start, or allies fragile for the death you can find them on. Right, plenty of empowerment are permanent. Okay, yeah, that's what that's what you mean. I see. And so I guess we could ID the wands instead of maybe empowerment could come in handy or something. We could get end up with a cool ally instead of like wasting the charge on a an enemy. That's cool. Yeah, let's uh, let's read ID some stuff. Why not? Any other things we want to take advantage of? Potentially Discord, Mapping, Sanctuary. Not in particular. I think we step here to take advantage of Sanctuary. Otherwise, we just go with it. Because indeed, identify. Might be easier to just fire one at an ally. If we had an ally, that would be a good choice. Um, that's a good point. Um, <laughs> I'm second guessing myself now because I don't think the chainmail is a great target unless we find out that it's runic. I can wear this for a thousand turns. I don't think the scroll's worth it. Firebolt, we're not using this enough for us me to care about that. So maybe I do just roll it on a on a wand. Wand of plenty. Interesting. I think I'm okay read IDing the last one. Discord. Cool. Acid mound. Let's firebolt this dude. <clears throat> what turn is it? 90-90. I mislabeled that. That's supposed to be 8,953. How many turns left to ID the armor? It's probably like 900 still. 935. Like, we just started wearing it. Looks like a key holder. No, nope, just happens to be two fire traps. Worshipping ogres. Do I confuse them and go in for the kill? 
Oh wait, that's not an ogre mage. That's just an ogre. It was it was green in the light. I thought it was a mage at first. I was gonna try and fire trap that guy, but he walked away. I think I can just avoid these ogres if they're just in that corner and there's nothing down there. Alright, y'all aren't standing on anything, right? Uh, now they're going to come out. Because they're burning. That's awkward. So now they're just going to wait here. Um, if I just sit here, they're going to set go to Wandering real quick. Or back to Worshipping, which means they go all the way back to their altar. Or their totem. That's cool, too. I'll allow it. Salamander. Salamander could actually be guarding an ally. Oh no! Will he step on the scroll of enchanting? I was gonna tell you, yeah. So he's like a wisp, he'll avoid the grass. Cause I noticed he burned all this stuff, but he might have spawned in the grass. Actually, what is all this? Do they just leave ashes behind anyways? Or wherever they walk? He should be like a wisp. All right. Okay, he did stop there. Oh, they must just leave ashes everywhere. Okay. That makes a lot of, okay. Whew, whew. Oh, man. I know I was, like, downplaying Scrolls of Enchanting earlier, but you still don't want, like, to burn one if you can. I would have traded a teleport charge. That's the first thing my mind went to, as well, Arch. Pit bloat is a little awkward, although we could just fight it here. Was that a secret door? I think it was. Okay. Nothing here. Do you want to leave anything downstairs? Yeah. Or maybe over here, and not in the bog. Drop a few items there. Alright, it's a halu pot. Another pit bloat. You would get away from the door. That's probably good enough. I'll just firebolt you. Oh, I just threw the wand. 
Or the staff. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that. Is there a reason I look downstairs? So, I always look downstairs. Okay, there's a few reasons. I don't think an enemy can be in line of sight of the stairs, so it's always safe. And you can find items because you you unveil, you uncover a lot of tiles potentially, more than just like stepping in any direction on the explored floor. So there's a high chance of finding items compared to like making any other action you could take that like doesn't involve going downstairs. And I also like to go down there and search for traps. Because if you run from an enemy and have to go down there, I want to be sure that there's no traps down there. So that's kind of my logic between behind going downstairs. Okay, this pit bullet's going to be annoying now. Okay, here he is. I think we have to kill him with the javelins. I can't believe I threw my firebolt staff at him. That was hilarious. Hey, we found an ally. How have we not... Oh, they're standing on the iron manacles. They haven't lit this thing on fire yet. Dude, the troll's gonna light on fire and die once these guys move. He's standing on fungus. Invispot. I guess they don't move. Oh, they're actually trapped because of all the fungus around them and they won't wander onto fungus. This is hilarious. They spawned on the manacles and not the fungus and now they can't move off of it. Yeah, exactly, Smog. You could find an item earlier. Um, and, and that's just like more information. You might find an enchant scroll. It's like a marginal advantage, but I think it's generally ben beneficial to do that. Yeah, I think um, maybe an invis... So we can either teleport the troll or use an invis pot here. I don't think... The salamanders being trapped on the manacles is wrong. I think having the troll die immediately, the salamander step under the grass is like a really awkward mechanic. But you know, I'm, I'm kind of fine with it. It feels like one of those emergent behaviors um, that rogue likes to do, like can create. And it's not like the salamanders can care about the trolls like condition. All right, I think we, I, I like the invis pot idea. We either use the invis pot or I teleport the troll. I don't know which is more valuable to us. Invisibility is like one of the best potions in the game, but it has less value when you are playing a stealth build, I think. Or maybe it has more value, I'm not sure. 30. Throw fire immune at the troll. If only it worked like that. I'm actually gonna, and the other thing is if I teleport the troll, it might not survive. Two ally ones and the troll is really interesting though. All right, let's use the tele invis pot. Just cause I think this could be fun. Oh shoot, he's hunting. So the troll dies anyways.
We can get him out of here. Wait, where are you going? Come this way, dude. Yo, rescue success. Um, do I want to walk this way? Probably. Get out of here before we catch on fire. Oh no, don't die after all that. Alright. Ooh! <laughs> Thank you for leading the way. Ooh, what do you have? A Glorp Nernaglow scroll. And the troll actually has a lot of health now. So there's some ally synergy with stealth. Because allies can't wake up enemies, right? or switch them to hunting, and they always get sneak attacks or something like that. I forget how that works. I want to sit in here. <clears throat> Oh, come on, troll. Oop. You swapped the hunting, huh? Oh, he was wandering, but he lashed me. Ooh, that does damage. Let me back up a bit. On, dude. Whoa! That last hit did a lot of damage. Well, that did too much damage. Um, he had like a decent chunk of health there. I'm surprised it dropped that low. <clears throat> I, I wanted to intervene before he got to this point. Um, I can th throw a javelin and the troll might die. Or I could try to wand the troll, but if this is invisibility, which it probably is, I think the troll dies anyways. Javelin hits most of the time here, I think, so... Nope. Okay. Well, that was short-lived. Oh shoot, I'm still dying to this javelin, aren't I? Or this salamander. I don't know why I just did that. Um... No, the troll died. Oh no, it missed something. The troll just walked up here. Okay, he's alive. How many hits do you have to kill me? Two? I think I throw another javelin at you. My chance to hit. 41. I hit 3,000 percent of your health. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, that's like 30 damage on average. He has like one health left. Um, haste charm probably works pretty well here too. I'm just gonna see if I can javelin you. 
my god. So now I can die in one hit. So I have to teleport you. Incredible. Incredible. How much trouble one salamander is giving us. Yeah, I was surprised at how much damage that whip did. Well, I guess they don't actually use a whip. They have a whip attack. So... I look up salamanders. <clears throat> they do 5 to 11 damage. Yeah, that is pretty nasty. For some reason in my head, I was like, oh, they only do 3 to 5 damage. Or whatever a whip is. Four to five, I think. I think I just need to stand still. And regain some health here. What was this? Negative scroll. So if this is empowerment, when do we use it on the troll? When there's a, an ability potential that they can gain? Which is probably not a salamander, that would just be fire immunity. Which means they run into late lava and ask to get negated and stuff like that. So we just wait to potentially use uh, empowerment. Alright, well I can move a little bit if I'm just really careful with searching and all that. All right. Chant that Warhammer. We can now wield it without a strength penalty. Uh, right, and I think we do want to be choosy with the ability slot. Oh, is the whip attack their tail? No, it's... Oh, it says they whip, but you can whip some with your tail. That's interesting. I never considered that. <clears throat> an enemy won't leave an ability for the ally to absorb unless the ally is already empowered when it dies. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is correct as well, Jonadab. I was looking into that um, a little while ago. A wraith. Um, we don't even have to bother with this room. There might be like two tiles back there. Concerned the troll's gonna walk in? No, he's being smarter than that. Alright, let's just leave. Infested vampire bat. Nice. It was called Malevolent One. Oh my god, the troll won't go past the fungus? That's annoying. He just got like sanctuaried. He'll come downstairs eventually, right? I guess I can just firebolt it. Because right. at my health, I probably want the troll to be around.
and Firebolt charges are cheap this game. Oh, both these guys have gold. Where are you going? I want your loot. Oh, I threw the staff again. <laughs> and it still didn't get his attention. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, Butterfingers over here just losing that staff left and right. Um, I'm concerned that I won't find these guys again. Although, we have to walk through pretty much the whole level to get back to the stairs, so we're probably going to find them. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to take my stealth ring off. I actually forgot that was an option. I can meet them over here and maybe firebolt them. I wanted to peek my head out here too. That troll's still waiting for that thing to stop burning. Alright. Don't want to throw anything down the chasm. I have a leather armor. Where's my chainmail at? 281 turns. Never firebolt something flying over lava. Yeah, it might just huck my staff, right? Alright, there's the troll. Welcome back, bud. Um, This level's done, actually. Oh, great. Um, let's get these guys' attention. I want to equip my axe for this. And you get the fireball. For real this time. Gimme dat gold. Let's go. Dude, another salamander? You're on your own. Dude, are you gonna die again? Oh my god. Are you... <sighs> this fucking game. I'm done. This game is so dumb. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Dude, food. Hallelujah. I don't have my stealth ring on. Oh, that's why the... That's why the Salamander saw me. The troll would have survived if I had this on. I didn't... That's really unfortunate. I didn't realize that. Yeah, the troll went and picked a fight with a, a Salamander that was in a room that I didn't even see. The Salamander was at like 20% health and the troll had like full health and he still died. Hey, what's up, Schmeezy? I don't think I said that yet. Welcome.
He's gonna pick that fight even if you're stealth, but he gets a damage bonus if I was stealth, right? Oh, you're hunting. Oh man, that is a satisfying series of events. <laughs> Just sneak attack a whole ogre pack? Yes, please. Why isn't this salamander moving? Damn, you swapped to hunting, huh? Okay, I need to use a haste charm, I think. Welcome back to the team. <laughs> Alright, there's too much fungus here. Huh, just a completely empty room. Terrifying with tall grass and no way to search for traps. Interesting corner of the map. Actually, kind of want to search for secret doors down here. Just a plus one chain mail. So we're supposed to enchant our stealth ring and keep using this. It's still better than enchanting the leather, right? Leather is three armor, and this is six. There's leather four armor. I don't even know what the base is. <clears throat> but this only hurts our. <sighs> do I gotta do the calculation? I'm in light. There's a naga. Looks like the naga just beats the troll. I'm gonna see what this brass wand is. Invisibility. Interesting though, that the troll just... Right, yeah, but I know, I know the order for chainmail, but what we're considering, Jonadab, is how it affects my stealth range. So, what does chainmail work out to in the three cases? Oh, I need to make a stealth range calculator. And I'm playing a stealth build. I might do that after the stream. Um, so, base range 7. I want to see the case for being in light. So, that doubles to 14. And you get plus 1 for chainmail is 15. And then if you rest, that drops to 7.5 and rounds up to 8. And then you get minus six for stealth. Which puts you at two. So one point in the ring of stealth counters that. Yeah, base strength requirement minus 12. That's correct. What about the other two cases? Does it do anything awkward? <clears throat> So in normal light, you get seven plus one to eight. Resting goes down to four and okay. So it's just, okay. So I think we keep the chain mail and then enchant our stealth ring once. And then 
Well, the other consideration is that even worth, you're basically paying one enchant scroll for like three points of AC. I gotta look up leather armor. I actually don't know the value. Three, yeah, so three points of a AC. But do we even care about AC? Would we rather put our enchants into haste charms and warhammers? And like just be a pure stealth build. That is the question. Honestly, if we keep enchanting the Warhammer though, we're gonna be pretty decent in fighting things immediately normally, right? Like that's like a build even without playing stealth. I think. care about the paralysis? I don't think so, right? Probably drop the axe of the javelins here soon. Um, I could throw the black potion. I didn't realize I had that ID. Whether incineration or descent. We're probably not playing for a mastery here at this point, so I don't think descent is that valuable. Otherwise, that might be an identify scroll target. Acidic Jelly and a Scroll of Enchanting. Um, an Ogre Shaman. See, this is where the chainmail's bad. I actually need to take this off. Oh my god. Oh, the troll's kicking ass. Okay. Um, acidic Jelly's a problem. Hunting. I mean, my stealth radius is huge and light when I'm moving, huh? But what is my stealth radius and light while I'm moving? So it would be seven double to 14. Minus six, so eight. Um, acidic jelly, this is annoying. Uh, I'm probably supposed to fireball and hook two javelins at this thing. What is their health? Let me look them up. I want my troll to kill this, but he's like busy. It's really unfortunate that a pack of ochres came in behind us. Only 60 health, so I, I could split him like four times like they die, which isn't going to be easy. And he's right next to me. I have the axe, but that's the last time we ever use this axe if I use it here, which is probably okay. I think we're running out of opportunities to use the axe. We're not going to use it against like phantoms or furies. We're probably not going to be running into goblins and stuff anymore. I guess it'd be good against pink jellies. I could negate the jelly with the scroll. Is that actually a good use of this negation scroll right now? seems reasonable otherwise we're basically saving negation for like 
serious endgame stuff. I don't know. Negation is incredibly good later. Yeah, I was just thinking negation versus liches is kind of nice. How much damage do these guys do? Two to six, not a ton of damage. If I bolt, he moves up, and I jab, he moves up. I probably need to maneuver and then jab again, and then hope my troll can help. I don't want to get surrounded. I probably need to move first. God, this is awkward. And I got to remove my armor. Okay, armor has to come off first, I think. Oh, I already have my armor off. Okay, never mind. I took that off earlier for stealth. All right, let's firebolt you. Oh, that splits on its own. Okay, this is perfect, actually. If I jab each one of these, they, they die on average, I think. Now I hit the big one. And then I just wait. Easy. Okay, I, I, I didn't realize the... Or I forgot the initial bolt killed, or split, because it does damage. That... It would have been a lot more annoying if that didn't happen. Because I don't think I had enough splits to kill them all. With just one firebolt. But that worked incredibly well. They actually died a lot faster than expected. I think the wiki might be out of date on their health. Not sure. I almost forgot there's an enchanting scroll up here, too. Um, so I can put this enchant scroll wherever I want. Well, yeah, poison doesn't do damage, so it doesn't, or it doesn't do like impact damage. Incendiary darts also don't split jellies because they don't do damage on a hit. I think we're supposed to keep enchanting the Warhammer. That the damage bonus I get from enchanting the Warhammer is threefold on sneak attacks, and it also gives me some survivability when I'm not like when something's actually hunting me. I feel like we just go into that right away. There's some value in holding enchants until we might find another good build item. There's another scroll of enchanting. Um, yeah, the, the haste charm is definitely something I, I've been keeping in mind. Do you enchant one. There's no reason to enchant one when one of them is like ready. I imagine at some point I do enchant one of these haste charms two or three times. There's another paralysis trap here somewhere. Another enchant scroll. So how many enchants have we used this run? Uh, eight total. So here's a ninth by D14. We're actually above average, I think. We found one in the goblin den, right? 
What, what did the what was the the warlord carrying? I don't remember. So we might have gotten a bonus one. Warlord did have enchant, so I think that was a freebie and not normal dungeon generation enchants. Um, I put three into the ring. The ring was a natural plus three. And then I put five in the Warhammer, which I negated to plus zero. It was originally negative. So, and yeah, this is the ninth enchant scroll. Um, I'm going to enchant the Warhammer again. I just want to get our non-stealth accuracy up. What was this? Protect weapon. Hell yeah. Dude, I didn't see that before the jelly. Oh, that feels good. Um, so what's left on negative potions, incineration, and descent? I'm going to go ahead and throw this black potion. Incin. And I'm down to telepathy and descent. Two very good potions left with this brown one. And if I find detect magic, then I ID this outright, which is nice. Not many weapons get double protected. That is true. Um, this is Kraken Deaths, but I do have three Lev Pots, so let's go. And I think I prefer this Leather Armor to this Chainmail right now. Yeah, take it easy, Arch. Thanks for hanging out. I didn't go downstairs here yet. Another incineration pot. Cool. All right. Do I get a sneak attack when this thing comes out? Let's find out. It's an off-balance wraith. Not a sneak attack. I think my troll wrecks the wraith. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, buddy. Uh, troll kills the spider, no problem. Nice. Oh, so I can let the troll get free sneak attacks if they're sleeping. Maybe that's what I was thinking of. They have to be sleeping, I guess. Um, don't want to drop anything off downstairs. I may as well. Ditch the chainmail and probably the axe. The axe might be gone for good here soon now that I have a plus six warhammer. Drop these brown potions too. And a fire M. That should be plenty of items. Uh, I'm going the wrong way. Another troll just wandering. He's going the other way. Smart move. Acidic jelly. Hey, this is a tech magic. Bloodwort. Is that a secret door? Oh, a potion of life. Did my troll find that door? I didn't notice that before. It might, might have just been an awkward stealth range color. Um, do I jump down the chasm to save turns? I'm probably supposed to. 
Uh, now that I have a potion of life, that feels pretty safe. Let's do it. Wandering Blade Master with a another fire immunity potion. Master's hunting. So he's gonna blink to me. Unless I do this. This is perfect, actually. Back to wandering. Splat. Another potion of fire immunity? I have two in inventory. I think there's one on the ground. There's another one on the ground here, and there's one on the dar of there. That's like too much. I need to drop some stuff. Probably the tech magic down here. And if I have anything I want to yeah. use it on, I I do it from a um, I bring it down here. The only time that um, bites us is. If we find a vault we want to use it on, I'll have to go and grab it. My slot, so I have eight items. We should be okay. Another enchanting scroll. Hot damn. I'm going to hold on to this for a moment. That's number 10. 100% chance to hit the eel. Get wrecked, nerds. Oh my god. There was a kraken in there. Well, that's one dead troll. Actually... Do I use Invis on him just to save him? Probably. That didn't work. Dude, this build is fun. Damn, you swapped to hunting. We probably kill these pretty easily now. 60% chance. This one's just wandering. What do you think of dumping excess and chance into the ring gets sneaky in plain light? Yeah, I was considering that. So... In light right now, we have a stealth range of eight while moving. Because seven doubles to 14. Oh no, it's seven. It cuts in half again to seven. When we're... Well, no, that's when we're, wait, what is it? I don't know why this is so hard for me to keep it straight. So you start with base seven, it doubles in light. So you're up to 14. Okay, that's the condition we care about, because if you rest, it goes down to 7, and then we get down to 1. But if we want to move around in light, we're at 14 minus 6 currently. So yeah, that's range 8. It would take another 7 in chance to get that down to 0. Or down to 1. But that's not necessarily our goal. 
Because if you can just like have a little bit of like buffer to maneuver, like say you got your stealth range down to like four, then you can move around some more and then rest to get it down to one when you need it. Yeah, exactly. Having a smaller bubble to walk in would help a lot. I kind of like the idea. Plus six Warhammer is probably passable. I don't know if we're going to want to enchant it anymore or not. The damage does scale pretty nice, but I, I think there's probably better places to use enchant scrolls at this point. I do wonder if there's a cutoff on certain enemy where we're not guaranteed a one hit right now. Let's, let's figure that out, actually. So right now at plus six, we're getting a... Forty-six percent damage bonus. Warhammer's due. Twenty-five minimum. So that's thirty-six damage. Times three is one hundred nine. Okay, so hear me out. I think Tentacle Horrors have 120 health. So maybe that's a, a baseline we could aim for since we're so close to it. So if we want to do 120 damage... We need a 60% multiplier. Which is eight, yeah. Now, we still kill them, like, on any other roll. <laughs> Except for a minimum roll, I think. Um, what's the clumping on it? Here, I can tell you. Um, it, uh, the wiki doesn't list any clumping. So I think it's just 25 to 35. With the tentacled horror, you kind of need to win first shot. Do we? I don't know what our chance to hit them is. They hit like a truck, though. We probably do. With our current gear, if we find like a one of blinking or something, we'd be fine. Uh, that feels like a decent baseline, though. One shotting a tentacled horror. I'm gonna hold on to. I'm gonna sit on this enchant scroll. I like the Warhammer option. I like the stealth option. Um, I like the haste charm option. Probably slightly below those. If I didn't have two of these, I probably would have want to enchant it more. But we haven't needed them quite as badly. Now, if I use like two enchants, we could probably haste like every encounter, which would be kind of nuts too. Um, but I'm curious to see what other pieces we find. So, uh, we're just going to sit tight at the moment. That's our Blade Master, just blink. Oh, did it get hasted or something? I don't know what happened there. I wonder if they're coming this way. I'm going to wait a little bit. Doesn't seem like it. Oh, here they go. Oh, nice. Get splatted. Dude, this is the fourth malevolent one scroll we found. Aw, oh, look at this poor bloodwort with nowhere useful to, to grow a, a pod. Banded reflection or respiration? Well, I think 
um, runic heavy armor still has value. Like, I at least carry banded of respiration around. I don't know if reflection is quite as worth it. Ooh. What about leather of respiration or reflection? Intriguing. Oh, there's a vault over here. If I need to, I can levitate around these. Let's see what the puzzle looks like, though. Oh, I just found um, leather armor on the ground. And we were just getting excited by the possibilities. We have Detect Magic waiting downstairs, or is it on this floor? I think it's downstairs. So, it's actually a great time to use it. Uh, let's see what's over here. Hey, what's up, Mini Mogul? Why haste to make this easy? How much damage do you do to me? A big chunk. A big chunk of damage. Alright. Um, I'm going to use a levitation pot to take not a lot of damage from this. I think I'm going to haste it as well. Oh, okay. I thought he'd move here. If he moved here, then he takes like at least two hits while I move out of the way. But now I just do that. Oh, I actually have to walk into his range again. Um, but I'm hasted. I'm going to use levitation. I don't know if he's off balance or not. Hmm. I guess I could have walked all the way around. Another enchanting scroll, and this one's a freebie because it's in a vault. So this is number 11? 3, 6, yeah, number 11, and two of those are freebies, so we're really at 9 on dungeon level generation. Which 9's like ahead of time too, this might be a, a high enchant seed. Which is always exciting. Or or blink time? What do you mean? <laughs> um, I have three items. Like one, two, three, four, five things to drop. Time to blink next to tentacled horrors with sneak attacks. <laughs> That still sounds terrifying. Because they can switch to hunting to turn you blank, right? I'm going to throw the leather down. Plenty. Oh, you mean to enchant the Warhammer twice. Gotcha. A little slow. Let me finish my cup of coffee. There's one. There was one. Uh, one more good swig in there.
Um, I'm tempted to jump down, but I'm levitating, so I can't. Uh, now I can. I feel like we have to jump down chasms when we can, because we're behind on the food clock. It probably saves us, like... A good like 100 turns or something uh, maybe not quite that much it really just saves us the time walking over here the thing is our detect magic potions over here which i really want to use you know what would be sweet here's a a community edition feature request a way to see what the distance is on the the travel path so i could be like oh this is 40 tiles Oh, yeah. Dude, I just auto-traveled into a phantom and killed it. That felt good. Also a warning that these are phantom deaths, which is kind of terrifying. Also a Kraken sees me. I think... Do I use levitation again? Um, shoot. I, I, I want to look at the combat calculator really quick, which I don't think I have bookmarked, but I can probably find it pretty quick. Because all I have to do is hit it once, right? Well, it can re-seize if, if I hit it, so that's not enough. Unless I also... Unless I also haste, which I can do. But let's see what the combat calculator says. Um, let's see. Other armor. Kraken. Warhammer. What do you have? 60 HP right now, I think. And what, 16 strength? So it has an 88% chance to hit us, and we have 150 damage against it. Or 100, no, not damage, 150 hit chance. Um, we do about a third of its health on average. That's not amazing. How much damage does it do to us? Bracket. It does about a third of our health on, on average. Hammers take two turns to swing. Kraken's flit, though? So if I hit it once, there's a good chance we get out, right? Oh, that's awkward. I don't even know where it's at. Okay. Right, knockback works, but they can attack you again on the same turn. Unless he flits, which is what we'd be banking on. I do have a life potion. I think we just... Cool. Oh, he's fleeing. They flee at really not even that low of health. Okay. Get out of here, you wimp. Puny Kraken. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use Detect Magic. There are a lot of scrolls and potions we have that we'd like to ID in addition to that leather armor. Um, looks like the leather armor was cursed. I think that was it, that's too bad. Telepathy potions. Awesome. Um, I have another negative scroll. Malevolent 
two. Get out of my sight. Um, anything else we've learned? Nope, that's about it. Room for two items. So there's two fire immunity potions on the ground, a potion of levitation, and a scroll of identify. I already have three fire immunities. Let's just drink one now and leave. I think I abandoned my axe here. I don't think it does enough damage, or I don't think my accuracy is going to be good enough to use it against Furies and the like, so we're just going to abandon that. Dude, I really want to find like a Staff of Blinking, Obstruction, um, an Invis Charm. There's like a few things that would just make us really pop off right now. Uh, I really hope we find some interesting items. Tunneling to kill torches, that's cool. Hey, what's up, Anti Gulp? Yeah, this run is, uh, we're having a lot of fun so far. We're at Def 16 out of 26 of the base dungeon. And it's the first time I've played a stealth Warhammer build and I am enjoying it a lot. We're building around stealth and the Warhammer, um, but we're also complemented by two haste charms, which is really cool. Oh, hell yeah, Strength Pot. Explosive Bloat. Um, I need to be careful because there's grass there. All right, we just drink that. I thought those are glyphs for a second because they looked red. Oh, hello. Ah, I had a feeling there would be a secret door here. Oh my god. The bloat ended up over there? How, like... <laughs> How unlucky. How often do you open a door and the bloat just explodes in your face? Evil patch idea for Brogue. Trapped doors. Oh, we are fire immune. Okay, that's not nearly as bad, actually. I thought I was going to have to drink life here, but I don't have to. <laughs> Premeditated. That's not nearly as bad as it could be. That's funny. Drinking that fire immunity was like a super like low-value thing. Like, there's... The chances of me ever needing fire immunity was super low, but there was no reason not to use it because I was going to leave it behind. Open door and get hit by acid? Now that's mean. Defeated something. Um, is this deep water? It is, so this doesn't connect to anything. And I'll be able to see these tiles from the other side, so we can avoid this water right now. Get bopped, you Mr. Eel. Some of the evil patch ideas you've heard over the years sound generally interesting if they weren't like an every seed thing. Generally, when you throw out an evil patch idea, it's not supposed to be like a serious suggestion at all. All right, let me hook the chainmail down here. We're gonna have to drop some stuff on this floor. A trap to teleport into the middle of a lake. That's pretty evil. Actually, I can leave stuff out in this room.
A vampiric wisp? <laughs> they don't even do damage, do they? Oh, that's steam. I saw a Juggernaut Wisp somewhere, but um, I think someone posted a screenshot in Discord of their run and they were fighting a Juggernaut Wisp. Another fire immunity potion? <laughs> this is one of those seeds that we were talking about the other day that has like 15 of one type of item. We're just going to keep firing, fi finding uh, fire immune potions. I may as well drink it again. down here. All right. Did I search over here? Uh, it doesn't look like it's a secret room potential. It's just because this kind of connects. Get through here before the steam happens. So we have a positive wand here. That might be worth IDing. What are those? Nauseous raids. Fun. Leather armor was cursed. Hell yeah, I'll step on the pressure plate. You gotta get some value out of this potion. I almost actually... Kept me in the dart range uh, longer than I wanted to be because of the, I couldn't walk around the fire or walk through it. Centaurs at their incineration darts. There's a fun one. A war pike. It's a decent stealth weapon, but nothing like the Warhammer. I don't think it's even worth picking up. Uh oh. 69% chance to hit. We haste. Get bopped. I do they they flee into deep water? They're probably gonna get killed when they walk in there. The inevitable wraith pact is how all your stealth runs end. Interesting. I'll have to keep that in mind. I hope that wraith gets krakened. Wait out this nausea. All right, looks like we're done here. Swim one tile. I was thinking that. I need to grab this gold though.
And then I think the tile at that point would only be worth it if I jumped on the chasm. Which is probably okay. Or I just go to the stairs. If we get like Krakened, I have to use a levitation potion. Which we probably don't mind that much. Yeah, let's do it. What could go wrong? There's an eel down here. Of course you're hunting, but I think we wreck you now. Uh, wreck is a strong word, but... I have enough outs where we can safely fight you. How about I say that? Incendiary darts. I hope that means there's a reward room here. Or a key holder. a gas pot. Do I ditch the chainmail? I don't have a good feel for armor. It literally doubles our armor rating. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, it kind of doubles it. I'm not accounting for strength requirement, though. It, it goes from 4 to 7 at this point. Oh yeah, we have Firebolt. That's an excellent point, Jonadab. I don't even need to pick these up. I want Cossack Gas. It's probably better than Incineration, since I have the Firebolt Staff. Food! kidding me? Oh, only a 46 chance? I, I was supposed to firebolt the pixie. I don't know why I did this. And now I am slowed and nauseous. Ooh. That's actually really concerning. Um, how, how do we want to get out of this mess? Kill the zombie in two hits. And I have like jellies and all this other garbage coming this way because they're that alarm trap. Um, I could use invisibility. We, we need to kill the zombie first though. So. I'm slowed. nauseous. This is where I'd love to read like a scroll of teleport. Although maybe not when my stealth range is this high. I'm tempted to teleport the zombie. This guy's going to potentially chunk down even more of my health. I want to get like not nauseous too. I don't know if life heals that, but we probably end up drinking life here soon regardless. I think I'm supposed to use the haste charm to get non-slowed. Oh, wow. Haste charm not only cancels slow, it removes it and makes you hasted. Uh, 
That's incredible. Okay, I'm probably supposed to go over here and wait out my stealth range. be nauseous when there's probably a bunch of enemies over here. Um, I might be able to just sneak attack this guy, actually. Oh, wait. Of course they blow up into a cloud of nauseous gas. Uh, that's probably fine, because enemies won't walk through it, so that position was okay for it. Well, how, how that interaction works in a lot of games is that it would just cancel slow but not haste you. That's why I was surprised by that. Pink jelly. Definitely need the mango. All right, I'm gonna look at the combat solver again real quick, and I'm just curious to punch in like a few iterations of leather verse plus one chainmail here. I don't know what our, our good reference enemy is. Maybe we try like a phantom. I think there's something off with the, the combat table here. Oh, I don't know. What's the rule of thumb? I don't. This isn't like an amazing rule. I, I've just heard this. Every five points of armor roughly halves the chance that something will hit you. If we just went by that, it almost like halves. It's like three more points. It like almost halves. I don't know. I feel like I want to spreadsheet this out, but I also don't want to take the time to do that. Screw it. We can spreadsheet this. Why not? It's been a while since we had a spreadsheet on stream. And I don't really... That's one thing I don't have like a great feel for. Um, let's see, how do we want to do this? I don't think I have Excel installed on this computer right now, so we're just going to Google Sheet it. spreadsheet. Let me pull this up.
Okay. Let's take a break and look at this. Internet has installed Open Office on every computer he's a touch since about 2001. I used to love Open Office, but when I started, um, it was when I was in university and I had to do like all these group projects and reports. Some of the tools that Microsoft Word has for like formatting stuff so that you can like merge like sections of a report from different people and have it like automatically um, like number things and like merge the formatting and stuff. I, I felt like that was stuff that OpenOffice didn't do. Or maybe just my lab mates didn't use OpenOffice or something, but um, I've grown fond of, of Word. And because I always had Word, I always had Excel too. Open Office sucks. Yeah, it's been it's been five to ten years since I've used it. I used to use it all the time, but once I stopped using it, I feel like I realized a lot of other programs are very powerful. All right, so I think armor value scales the same way that stealth or um, weapons do, six and a half percent per. But let me check that. Um, so chance to hit. Let's do this. We're gonna make two rows here. Chance to hit. Actually, let me do leather, chain, chance to hit, chance to hit. And this is going to, no, I need to do leather. Okay, we can make this work. How much armor do you get for your strength bonus? On armor, it's, it's a half a point, right? We currently have 17 strength. So our effective enchant for our leather is three plus five times 0.5, is that right? Five and a half? That can't be right. It's 0.25, I don't know why I thought it was bigger. Okay, so it's 1.25 is what we get for having 17 versus 12. So our effective armor rating for our leather armor is 4.25. And for chain, it's 13, so we're at plus four. It's just six, right? So our chance to hit, and I'm gonna like create a few reference enemies here. So since we, we used it already, let's say like Tentacle Horror. So let's do like Fury, Phantom, Tentacle Horror, Dragon. So chance to hit according to the wiki, which is just what I'm going to use for now. I trust it enough. Equals monster accuracy. That's what I need to put here. So we have theories. Two hundred accuracy. I should look at monster stats someday, just to note the outliers, because I'm sure there are some that really stand out in distinct ways. Dragons also hit you for free when they use their breath attack, which is really annoying. All right, so our chance to hit equals 
Monster accuracy times 0 0.9887. Raised to the defense value times 10. And I actually want... This to be fixed to the B column. B8, perfect. Um, I don't need so many figures. Whoa. This is significant. Is this accurate? This feels like a no-brainer now that I'm looking at this. I, I spend one enchant scroll on my stealth ring and it cancels out the, the chain um, stealth radius and it gets me back here. I'm 100% off bo on board with this after looking at these numbers. As long as I didn't screw up a calculation. Monster accuracy times 0.987. Raised to the defense value times 10. Yeah, that, that's accurate. Confirm with the next monster. That's a good... Okay, I like that. That's a great way to check our math. I probably want to equip the chainmail for that. Um, I want this mango for sure. I think I ditched the wand of plenty. Even if we get a strong ally, we probably don't split it. I guess something like a dark priestess that has a support rule is probably nice to split. Allies are just kind of awkward. In general at the stealth build because they like run ahead of you when you're trying to wait for a, an enemy to get near you so i think they're gonna die a lot unless we find like a tentacle horror or something you really think invis should get di ditched first i guess without tunneling invisibility doesn't have a lot of value i could id something like the bronze wand I don't mind polymorphing something with a bronze wand, though. With a stealth build, even if we polymorph something into a dragon, I think we can... It won't see us while we're stealthed. So I'll probably just YOLO that. I hope I don't regret that. A dragon could technically one-hit us right now, even if it's fire breath, which is scary. I don't know if monsters can see you the turn you now I think you have to do damage to them to get their attention they pro if you polymorph a monster out of stealth range they probably don't switch to hunting don't want Beckon well Beckon's probably fine against a lot of enemies Beckon means like we pull that it's it's like reverse blink it's actually pretty good for sneak attacks but we'll use it on something that's like not super dangerous just in case so I, I can use test the bronze wand, I think. Um, do I just use this scroll? I'm okay with randomly using the scroll right now. I have the chainmail on. So if we end up protecting that, it's probably fine. Let's see what this is. Sanctuary. All right. A sanctuary for my mango. All right. 
Hey. Oh, this is... That... I, th I didn't see there was an open space here. I was like, here's a perfect place to use invisibility wand. Another sanctuary. Oh, my pack's too full to pick it up. Um, okay, hold that thought then. A dark priestess and a pink jelly. Um, pink jelly typically has a 34% chance to hit you. And Dark Priest is at 40. All right. Math time. Jelly, Dark Priestess. So Pink Jelly has 100 accuracy. Dar Priestess has Wait. The Dar Priestess has a hundred accuracy? Okay. Um shoot, the wiki's wrong. <laughs> That's concerning. Let's see if one of these numbers is correct. Um, okay, I, I know where I can pull these this data from, actually. The combat solver that Zen Zombie made has all of the monster data. Let me see if that matches. And I noticed some of this was um, off from the wiki. So what does he have for Pink Jelly in this? 85 accuracy. And Dar Priestess is 100. Okay, my number's still wrong, though. If this is 4... So is that formula wrong? Is there some weird rounding going on? The thing is, I think Zen's thing has something broken in the the ally damage. I was using it um, last week and I was changing the armor and like one of the like the ally damage like wasn't changing. Like one of the fields wasn't changing. So I'm not sure if I could rely on it for this at the moment without looking deeply or deeper into it. Oh, wait, no, it does have hit chance. Hang on. So if I look at... Okay, let me try this again on his end. Um, and what were we just looking at? Like, Dar Priestess? So if I punch Dar Priestess into his... For leather armor... I have 17 strength now. Yeah, chat. It says 59% chance to hit. What? That's what my math is giving me, right? Basically. And in game is telling me 40? Oh, you just want to swap it out for these two? So 40 versus 34. Sixty-nine and a hundred. Wow, that's dropped from over a hundred. Wait, no, I'm looking at my math. Forty-seven and fifty-five. So fifty-five to forty. Forty-seven to thirty-four, or whatever. That gap is better against something that hits you more often though, right? I want to know why both my calculation and Zen's calculation works the same, but it's not what in-game shows. How does that make sense? I'm pretty sure Zen pulled all of his formulas straight out of the code. I am very confused. 
Um, I'm gonna... I know there's some kind of anomaly here, but I'm gonna trust the math. And say that the chainmail feels pretty good here. And put one enchant into my stealth ring and use the chainmail. And we're gonna see how it goes. All right, let's bring that uh, that's what my gut tells me, along with the after just seeing like the math. I, I'm really befuddled by. I'm not surprised that my calculations are wrong. But that both me and Zen have the same math and result tells me that we were doing it correctly. We arrived at the same conclusion through different methods. Because I don't think he looked at the wiki. I'm pretty sure he went through the code. And I don't know why the game is different. Very, very peculiar. Um, I, I like the idea of this chainmail, though. So I'm going to put enchant into the stealth ring. Equip the chainmail. We are now committed. I can ditch this leather, I guess. Um, this scroll has to be positive. I probably just read it. Protect armor. We're committed now. You're impressed how long we've debated the merits of plus zero leather on D17. Hey, when we want to know an answer to something on this stream, we do it right. We nerd out. And we get answers. Okay. Build is sick. All right, this is the floor that had the alarm trap. Dude, there's so much light. It's this fungus, right? Burns nicely. Uh, that's a good point. You just gotta be careful about scrolls, I guess. Um, I don't like the idea. Oh, I could have sneak attacked the jelly, actually. Because it would have died instead of splitting. I didn't want to split it near the caustic gas thing, but that's actually not a concern. Um, I see a phantom. Um, two goblins that have stuff I don't care about. Dude, I'm afraid of this phantom right now. Oh, there it is. What are my phantom stats? I don't use telepathy just to deal with a phantom, do I? Let me punch a phantom in that combat calculator. The thing with phantoms is because you never get a chance to really inspect them, I never have a good feel for what their stats are. We have about equal chance of hitting each other. How much health do they have, though? This says our hits to kill are at worst zero, so I think we always kill the phantom. I'm gonna go ahead and haste. All right, to 
defeated the Phantom. Uh, let's eat that mango. Let's go check this steam thing. Looks okay. That's a boatload of traps. Could there be a secret door here? I'm like paranoid. I wonder if enchanting the Warhammer is worth it to get our hit chance up against phantoms in particular. Because phantoms were not were like never gonna sneak attack. So getting her to hit chance up from like, I don't know what it's going to do, but like 66 to like 80 or something would be like incredible. What does the combat calculator say about that? Plus 8 would give us a 70. It's only like an extra 11%. It's not amazing, but it's not in inconsequential. I, I think increasing the Warhammer has some value. I didn't consider phantoms before, but I think that's a good point. Dude, there's goblins and an ogre totem. I feel like I throw some kind of gas out there. Either caustic or confusion. I don't. The, the trap's not close enough to them, and I don't think I can draw them out because they're worshiping. And they like choke points. I think I need to throw gas in there. Oops. I always throw stabs and drink potion, drink bad potions for some reason. Pretend it's a staff. Yes. So I like confusion because they're really cramped in here, so they're going to like kill each other. Some of them might walk off this cliff downstairs, which makes them a lot less dangerous when they're separated. Oh, those are underworms. Um, we do pretty good damage against underworms, but they do good damage against us. Uh, Caustic gas is kind of nice here. I wanted to haste. I'm only at 82%. They're slow, so caustic gas actually works pretty nice versus them. And I can just kite them. I like that. Let's do it. And if I get back here, I can actually just swap their AI to wandering. I could have done this without the trap, actually. The trap was fun, though. Oh, shoot. Wait, another pressure plate? That was unexpected. Well, I was just thinking that I wanted to burn that grass. That worked out, I guess. And for three items, what's all on the ground here? Fire immunity, confusion, fire immunity, telepathy. All right, time to drop the leather. The only reason we'd carry the leather is if I went back on my chainmail thing and I just wanted the, the minus one stealth range and light. Which I think is a lot of value on a floor like this. Um, do I run in here? Explosive Goblin Mystic. 
That's awesome. Now, I don't want to destroy a scroll. I'm a little concerned about that. I'm just going to throw Casa Gas in here. And hope that the Goblin Mystic that's explosive leaves. Oh. Nope. It lit everything on fire. Oh, there's only three grass tiles. I guess we uh, lucked out there. Oh, dude, we just painted this room green. Dude, I love how Bro can give you the feel of like a critical hit with, a, with an animation like that. Oh, this doesn't connect. Looks like there's nothing over here. I think we just go. Darkness. An axe. Incineration. Nothing here. Yeah, let's just go downstairs. That's the curse leather armor? No, so when I dropped. Oh, we do like darkness. I forgot about that. I guess I can just jump down the chasm when we get back over there. Yeah, let's grab the darkness. That could be fun. Although there's like zombies and ogres over here now. Uh, let me throw these wands down. Oh, actually, I should test uh, my wand on something over here. That slowed me. Not that. Oh, there was gold here. But I did not see the gold. All right, I guess we're supposed to peek over here now. All right, I want to see one of these ogres real quick. Okay, there's a zombie. There's actually an awkward one to potentially beckon, but I want to test out this. This wand. It did nothing. It does not regenerate. That's, do zombies normally regenerate? Was that negation? Domination has a, a word, right? Or a message. I think that's negation. Do zombies normally regenerate? I gotta look that up. Zombie does not regenerate. Oh, it says that because they don't regenerate at all. At all. It's not like that it doesn't regenerate quickly. It's that it doesn't regenerate health at all. If that makes sense. So slowness would have had an effect. Polymorph would have had an effect. I don't know if there's a chance that you can polymorph something into its own... Um, what it already was. I think negation wouldn't have an effect. Domination has a message. And Beckonin wouldn't have an effect. So I think that was probably negation. best guess. Oh, the yokers are still confused down here. It's funny. Alright. Before we uh, 
venture onto this floor. I'm going to take a very quick break. I'll be back in about two minutes.